In this update, we are giving you tremendous power for working with assets that you create in the software. When you create something like a motif, a thread chart, or other types of assets, you will have the ability to export those creations in a way that will make it easy to share with somebody else. When somebody else receives one of these from you, you will be able to import it directly into the area of the FTCU software that it needs to go. So it will automatically load these assets into the proper tool or folder in the software. You will only be able to export items that you create in the software. Um, some of the things that you will be able to import and export are things like hoops um, that you create, thread charts you create, custom shapes that you create, standard fill patterns that you create, fancy fill patterns, motif patterns that you create, color play themes, word play shapes, workspaces. There's just a number of things that you have the ability to um, create and export, share with somebody else, and then give them the ability to bring it in to the software. So I want to take a moment to show you how this tool works. And I've created a few assets that I'm actually going to be providing with um, this update. So to access this tool, you go up to your menu bar, the tools menu bar, you select it. And here is where you have the ability to import assets or export assets. So I've created a few assets but um, before I show you how to import them I'll show you what options you have. So if I click on this export assets it's gonna bring up this dialog window here and you'll see that you can choose what you want to export. If it's a font, if it's hoops, if it's thread charts, whatever it is now remember that these are things that you create so it's not going to show the things that come in the software because everyone already that has the software already owns those right so this would be things that you've added to the software and so if I come in here and I go to custom shapes for instance and I and I wanted to share those I would just click this box and then I would go to select and it's going to bring up all of the things all of the custom shapes that I've created and I have the ability to choose which ones I want to share with somebody so if I want to share them all I can have it check all or I can uncheck all of them and then just choose the ones that I want to provide or in this case I'll just choose select all and choose OK the neat thing about this tool is that if you want to share a number of things not just custom shapes you have that box selected you've chose which ones you want to do and then you can come in and you can actually do motif patterns as well that you have created in the software and you can choose to um, share these with somebody and it will it will save both of them at the same time so when I go to choose OK um, it's going to save export these um, into wherever I tell it to go in this case I have it in this my C drive Floriani assets and it will save this file there and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose OK and um, you can see this little box right here that says open the file in Windows Explorer after it's exported right so I'm gonna choose OK and now it's gonna open up and you'll see here it says FTCU assets it gives the date and the time that I created it and it's in a special format and the reason it's in this format is because the software knows how to read it and when I load it or import it it will automatically place those items into the motif folder the custom shape folder wherever they need to go so that's how you export um, assets that you create and there is there will be another video that will show you how you can export or save different custom shapes and different things so that you can learn how to create your own so then you can share them with others and if I want to import one um, or multiple assets that somebody has sent to me you go to tools and you go to import assets and when I click import assets it's going to open up 
um, the Windows Explorer and you'll go to the area that you've saved that um, file that was shared with you. In this case I have a number of them in this folder. And you can see I have free custom shapes, I have free fancy fill patterns. These are what I'm providing with the update that will give you the opportunity to import these into your computer so that you can kind of play with this tool to learn how it, it works. So in this case I will choose the free motifs and I'll choose to open this and what you would do is just o import each one of these that you'll be sent. Um, and when you go to import, you'll see that it, it says that I have some motif patterns available. If I click this little window, it'll drop it down and you'll see which motifs are available. So if somebody shares something with you and let's say that you don't want all of them, you just want a couple of them, you can choose just to import the ones that you want. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose this right here that says check all and I'm going to import all of these in at the same time. So you'll see that I have these at 001, 002, 003. These are all numbered here and I'm going to choose OK to import these in. And you'll see that I already have these installed in the system. So that's why that warning came up. And now when you go in and you create just creating this little line here and I want to convert it to a motif so I'm in the bottom left hand corner I'm going to choose a motif and when I go to my motifs you're going to see that these files now will exist in the software and I can choose one of these and um, just to just to note on like these motifs they're, they have a name, like 004, the FLs for Floriani, and then you can see that it says a 15 um, PS. And what that means is it's recommended to use at least a 15 um, pattern size, millimeter pattern size, with this particular motif. And I, I love this motif. So it says 15 um, pattern size. So I'm going to come over here to pattern size, and I'm going to choose 15. And I'm going to click apply and you will see that it applies that motif pattern um, to that line. So um, when working with these assets is really easy to do um, again to import tools, import assets, go to the folder where you want, you know, where you saved something that was shared with you. You simply select it, open it and click on this little window here to see what all is available. If you don't click it open, you can just choose, you know, to click check all and you'll see that they're all checked and you just hit okay and it will load those into your system. So just to kind of show you um, custom shapes um, is this icon right here. So when you click it, it's going to load those new designs that you imported. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be sharing those files with you so that you can get started with it. So you have custom shapes, um, you have symbols, you have a lot of different um, assets. And the really neat thing is just this update's going to allow you to be able to easily share these things with other people, the things that you create. And uh, so we're very excited to bring this level of control and power to you. And we hope that you utilize this tool and, and create some assets in the software and share them with others. Um, it's just a fun tool that allows you to interact with each other and share things. So we hope that you enjoy this and make sure you watch the other video on how to import all of these um, free assets that were provided to you. And it will also show you where these are located and what they are in, 